So here we are on Aliso Canyon, where on July 11th, um, in the afternoon, early afternoon, a uh, two spot fires broke out, vegetation fires on Aliso Canyon, and not too far from the monument sign where we um, did a video a few months ago about the this area becoming a national monument. Just um, several couple hundred feet from there, um, two spot fires broke out, and they were able to get it out very quickly uh, with about three helicopters and and uh, fire trucks on the ground. And so we're very very grateful, or this could have been a much different story today. And I was going to go over to the Bloom Ranch in a few minutes. And I'll zoom in on this one. This is the first spot fire that we're going to um, look at the aftermath here. Not too big of an area, luckily. And it's very, very close. And I'll zoom in to where that truck is parked. That's where the monument sign is and the first bridge on Aliso Canyon. Uh, so these fires broke out Saturday afternoon. And thank goodness... Uh, two young employees at the Bloom Ranch, Riley Monahan and Koa Harris, uh, were quick to respond, quick to react, told their immediate boss, um, the owner of Bloom Ranch, Mr. Ziegler, and he called it in to 911. But these two young men possibly saved a, a massive, massive destruction here in the canyon. As you all know, the station fire ripped through here in 2009. And before that, there was another huge fire that ripped through here in which the, this little bridge burned because it was uh, made out of wood, I believe, mainly, and it, it did burn. Um, that was many years back. And there's still some aftermath of trees and dead branches and trees uh, that you can see from that fire still. So we are very... Um, thankful to these two young men and I'm hoping to to get a chance to interview them here in a few minutes hopefully they're they're working today at the Bloom Ranch but I wanted to zoom in on this one and then we'll stop at the other one which I believe is a quite larger than this one on Aliso and uh, which of course is right broke out right here next to Smokey the Bear sign which is uh, ironic You can see some fire crews still here in this hot spot. This first one that's closer to Bloom Ranch. We can see them up there on the hill. It really uh, still is a strong smell. They're still hosing things down. We'll come back and see if we can talk to one of them on the way back. And here we are at Bloom Ranch, and you can see that large round area of burn. That's where we were just at, where the firemen are actually standing on the hillside, hosing it down. And you can see some police vehicles. So let's see if Koa and Riley are in today. Here we are again, deeper into the Bloom Ranch to get a better look of what Koa and Riley would have seen from across the street and their quick actions like I said is what enabled this fire to be put out so quickly it also helped that it wasn't too windy yesterday as well okay so uh, Riley Monahan's not here this morning but Koa Harris is and he is uh, one of the young men who um, was able to uh, respond so quickly with his and Riley's actions. They actually spotted the fire when it started and um, told Mr. Ziegler to call it in. But it's their quick thinking that really saved this canyon from burning because it could have been a much worse situation, as we all know. So um, I just wanted to thank you personally because I live on Aliso and I did not know that it was happening until I heard the helicopters. So I wanted to personally thank you. But also, um, just I was just wondering what your thoughts were <laughs> when you saw it. Did, I mean, when you saw it, did you just 
Well, we actually kind of saw it by accident. We were just, uh, we were working on the irrigation here at the ranch. Mm -hmm. And so we were looking back and forth at each other, trying to communicate uh, okay. down the rows. And uh, Riley was the one that saw it first and he pointed it out to me. And, and we're like, we should for sure call someone. And uh, we were surprised uh, uh, right after Riley called Chris, like immediately the firefighters showed up. They were like less than five minutes. It was pretty crazy, actually. Yeah, it was a quick the, response. The amount of people that showed up, but they were the ones that put out the fire. All we did was see it. Yeah, I, yeah, I realized that. And the helicopters helped as well. But your your quick thinking and and getting that call into 911, regardless if you did it here um, at Bloom Ranch, is really was a heroic thing to do because. As you know, fires spread so quickly, and I, I'm sure you were around during the station fire. Many, you were a lot younger, but yeah, it was I, a big deal. That, yeah. It was a big deal. So, um, so thank you so much um, for your quick thinking, and we appreciate you. So, that is all. <laughs> and as you just heard from young Mr. Koa Harris, uh, they didn't have anything to do with putting out the fire, but they certainly are being very humble. Um, they called it in, and their quick thinking really, really helped this fire from spreading. It was very, very close to Ranch Road and many of the homes on Aliso Canyon, so we're very grateful. And um, Koa and Riley have both worked here at the Bloom Ranch for quite a while, and they are incoming seniors to Vasquez High School this coming year. So. We'll uh, see if we can uh, get a hold of Riley. Uh, unfortunately, he's not here today, but we were able to at least interview Koa. All right, on to the next venue now, right?